everyone, so today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new MacBook Air. This is the 2021 and I got it in gold as you can see. So this is the base like model, like the, the like cheapest one you can get. And it is dual core i3, 256 gigabyte. I thought it would be perfect for what I need it for. So you may have seen a, I think by the time this goes up, it'll be a couple of weeks ago, I posted the MacBook Pro unboxing. So it's going to be similar to that, but this is obviously like the brand new one. And it's air and it's gold. We have a little peely tab. Now we like what? They could at least make it more satisfying, couldn't they? Just saying. so pretty i'm really low down so that i could be in shot with the laptop so the one i've got now like i think i said in the previous video if you watched it was is the 2015 silver macbook pro this is like so pretty okay we're just gonna put this down it's so thin okay we're gonna come back to it now for what's in the box so this is gonna be pretty similar to like what well, basically the same as what was in the macbook pro one if you do want to go and watch that video i will leave it in one of the corners whichever corner it goes in i'll also link it in the description so you can go and watch that so we have a usb-c charger well the wire for the charger and then obviously the little instruction thing which is actually they've changed it i want to see the stickers are the stickers in the same color oh <gasps> the stickers are shiny gold okay and then oh my goodness um, and then you get obviously just the plug. And something I've just noticed that's different is this. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like this has got to be at least half the size of the other one. I'm really intrigued. Is this just like the size of even like the new Pro as well? Or is this just like, because it's an Air? Because that is adorable. And now for the laptop. This is stunning. Okay, now for the bit everyone loves. Still not as satisfying as everything used to be. Do you see how pretty that is? With the mirrored like Apple logo as well. Oh my goodness. This is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Considering like, because I've never had a MacBook Air before. I've only ever had a Pro. Um, and it's a lot, of, like this is so thin. I don't know if you can like, like this, the, what? It's coming on by itself. This is so pretty. Yeah, the reason I got the gold was because I have had the silver MacBook Pro for five years. I just got the Space Gray one, one through work. So I figured I wanted something different for my personal one. It's a lot more like, I feel like maybe in natural lighting, it'll be a bit different, um, United Kingdom. But it's like, it's really like copper. I wouldn't even say it's gold, I'd say it's copper. Okay, let's get on the Wi-Fi. But I mean, is it actually going to? Because our Wi-Fi is crap. Where is our Wi-Fi? I don't know if you do or don't know. But the keyboard is different. This is a magic keyboard. So obviously, I've kind of got all three currently keyboards. So I've got the original. And then I've got the Pro that has the butterfly keys. And I've got this, which is the magic keyboard. And I can like, this feels a lot like my... 2015 macbook pro it looks a little bit more sleek than my macbook pro i need to sign in oh wow they really are a mixture between the butterfly and the like whatever the original one's called i don't know that's yeah you're right my apple id is incorrect because i've spelt my name wrong this is going a lot quicker than my previous video you feel like you're pushing down on them more whereas with the butterfly ones you don't really feel like you're pushing much which is handy when you have longer nails. So I have an iPad, is it the sixth gen, I think? And I got that in, I'm sure it was called, was it called gold or was it actually called copper? But that is like copper and this looks the same. I would recommend though, if any color, you're not sure what one to get, get the space gray. Do we have to do Siri again? Okay, if we must. Can you believe we just got through that without a single of my devices in my room talking back to me? Much appreciated. <gasps> Touch ID. 
This is the thing I'm most excited about, even though I've had it on the other laptop. Oh, this feels so much different. So one thing I can tell you from this Touch ID, it feels so much different to my um, MacBook Pro because um, it's sort of like its own individual button. Auto, no thank you, dark, dark, dark. There we go. Oh, that even looks even prettier. You can't see it. <laughs> I just realized I didn't have to put this one on charge. Can we, first thing I need to do is change this trackpad because I can't, ha I just can't handle it. Right up to the top speed, there we go. First impressions of this laptop is in terms of like heaviness, it's heavier than I expected it to be for such a thin laptop. Personally, just I prefer, I actually think I prefer the buttons to the touch bar. I think I'm really happy I got this one for myself because, and because I was debating getting the Pro for myself and I'm really happy I didn't because this was like £500 cheaper. This is like all I need, but I love the touch ID. Like, it's my absolute favourite thing. Like, I wish, the one thing I wish you could do is I wish you could like press it and it like, locked it that's kind of what i would like like that'd be kind of cool so it's like a lock button and like but it doesn't do that which i kind of wish it did it does feel like smaller than my my, my current my new macbook pro it actually isn't but it does it feels more condensed like the whole thing just feels a bit more petite I, like the trackpad is smaller if you could hear squeaking it's my chair by the way i don't really know with this laptop like what to show because my with the pro i could sort of test out the touch bar this there isn't that much to test out on it i'll put on the screen right now as i'm doing it a little screen recording of like the two different macbook airs you can buy and i bought the cheaper one which was 999 i'm pretty sure my cousin gave me a student discount so i got it for 889 i think it was got imovie loading it up the fan came on i know people have said about with this with overheating i've loaded up imovie the fan came on but the fan's gone now I love the like slope of the air. I feel like it's going to be a lot more easier to like. Let's go on to notes. Okay, I like this keys. I think this is at all three. This is the easiest to type with. When I'm using my new MacBook Pro, it feels like like I don't know. It just has like an expensive feel to it. And so does this, but not as much as the new Pro. So it does have the speakers on the side, just like the uh, the MacBook Pros do, which my old one doesn't have that. I don't actually know where the speakers are, but it doesn't have this. Um, it has a bigger trackpad than my MacBook Pro, but it's got a smaller one than the new MacBook Pro. I'm not actually getting a case for either of my two laptops. I've just got like a sleeve um, to protect them. But when I'm actually using them, I'm just going to keep them out of the case because I think they look really pretty. If you're planning on getting like a new MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, you will need to get an adapter because this has... It's got two USB-C ports and a 3.5 headphone jack. So I currently can't use this laptop for anything, like for my editing, because I don't have the adapter thingy to put my sd card into or my external hard drive for that matter this is it from like my view i've got my lights on over there which is why it's so bright jeez so i actually think in natural lighting this laptop's going to be a lot more golden so this is just with my room lighting so there's obviously my shadow now but if i move out the way um as you can see it does actually look a different color you've got these keys no longer like a big Thing. This is like the little touch ID. The keys are like sort of a lot more lifted. And maybe if I turn the underneath thing right the way up, so you can sort of see under them a lot more. They're still sleek, but they're like you can sort of like press press down a lot more than what you can with the butterfly keys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.